Hi YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. Welcome to my kitchen. Today is an exciting day and I'm going to be doing a collab with a group of wonderful women. Christy on YouTube is hosting this collab, Fall Comfort Food. So we're getting ready for fall and all the cozy food and all the cozy things. So make sure that you check out the playlist down in my description description box for all the wonderful recipes that the ladies are going to be sharing with you and make sure that you check out Christy's channel. I will also have it linked below in my description box. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. Christy shares a lot of shopping hauls, days in the life of a farmer's wife, uh, she does a lot of cleaning motivation. She's got two little girls and they live on a farm in the South. And you know, I'm from the South. I live in Kentucky. And right now it's October the 1st and we are getting rain and a lot of cool weather from Hurricane Ian coming in, I'm guessing. But anyway, I've got my pumpkin Hello Fall shirt on and I'm all ready to share this great recipe. Now, this recipe that I'm going to be making, it is called a shepherd's pie. I have seen shepherd's pie before and I thought, ooh, they don't look very appetizing to me. But my husband and I subscribed to HelloFresh during the pandemic and we got the shepherd's pie. And I actually fixed the vegetarian one, but this one will be with beef. Uh, because a lot of people like beef, but you can make it either way. And I will leave the recipe for the HelloFresh one as well. It's made with mushrooms in place of the beef. But anyway, it is delicious. I mean, what's better than meat, vegetables, and a big chunk of mashed potatoes and cheese on top? So I hope you decide to stay. Give me a thumbs up if you like this type of video. And like I said, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. So make sure that you check out Christy's channel. I'll have it linked in the description box. And also the playlist will be linked in the description box. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Now let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started on this recipe. I am so excited about this collab. Um, as I told you in my intro, my husband and I done the HelloFresh during the pandemic, or some of the pandemic, anyway, starting out because there was things that they were short on in the store and such. So I done the mushroom and herb shepherd's pie, which doesn't have any meat, but it had mushrooms in place of the meat, and it was amazing. So I wanted to make one with beef, because my husband likes meat, of course. So today, that's the recipe I'm going to be making. I will also link the recipe from the original HelloFresh one with the mushrooms, because I know some people are vegetarians. My son is. So I like to, you know, sometimes give that option if I can. But the items that we're going to be needing is a tablespoon of olive oil, three-fourths a cup of yellow onion, diced finely, one rib of celery diced finely, two cloves of garlic minced. I'm just using the minced garlic. A pound of ground beef. Now I got the, um, this is the 90% lean, so that's what I'm get using. A two tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of tomato paste, a half teaspoon of thyme, and it says a half a cup of chicken broth, but I'm gonna use the beef broth because this is beef and I think it will just make it taste better. Also a cup of brown gravy, so I'm just gonna make this mix in a cup and pour it in it. Salt and pepper and a cup of frozen veggies. Now it also calls for three cups of mashed potatoes. I've already got my potatoes sliced and put into my Instant Pot and they are starting to bring up to pressure now. So I will insert that footage when I get my potatoes ready. I will also link in the description box my recipe for decadent mashed potatoes. They are amazing. So you wanna check that out. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our olive oil warmed up and we'll start adding ingredients. We 
go ahead and add some garlic to it, minced garlic. And you just wanna saute that for about a minute. See how our celery and onions have cooked down? It smells like Thanksgiving in here. It really does. I'm also putting a pack of brown and serve rose in the oven to go with it. This is gonna make a complete meal. Okay, now that we've got our garlic and everything sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and add our ground beef to it. some of this oil. We don't want all that grease in our shepherd's pie, do we? It's smelling good. All right, we're gonna add one tablespoon of tomato paste. Then we're gonna take our cup of water and our brown gravy and mix it together and pour it in. it up here. I've got a butter knife out. I need to dirty up another utensil, is there? And just pour it in there. Then we're going to take a half cup of beef broth. You said chicken broth. You can use chicken broth if you prefer. If you're vegetarian cooking, you can use uh, vegetable broth or mushroom broth. They have both. And we're going to go ahead and get this mixed up before we add our veggies. Now it looks pretty watery, but this is going to cook down. Oven just beeped. I'm going to go ahead and put my rolls in the oven. Let's be cooking down. Smelling good. And see that gravy mix will thicken it and the flour. We didn't put our flour in, so I need to go ahead and add, let's see, two tablespoons of flour. That'll help it to thicken up. See how quick. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in one cup of frozen mixed vegetables. That's my pressure cooker. It's done cooking. I'm just 
gonna let it take pressure down and then I'll mash my potatoes. Go ahead and let's put some salt and pepper in it. I think it looks great. And it smells amazing. I can't smell, I can't taste. Okay, so we're just gonna let those veggies heat through. And I'm gonna get my potatoes ready and then we'll be ready to assemble it. I almost forgot one of our most important ingredients, our seasoning, a half a teaspoon of thyme. And you know, it may need a little bit more than that. I'm not able to taste, so I'm gonna get my husband come here and taste it and see if he thinks my seasoning's okay. This looks really good. And this is similar to what I would call like a chicken pot pie filling, but this is beef. So if you don't like chicken, you could always do beef. Or like I said, for vegetarian, you could do mushrooms. I love the vegetarian shepherd's pie. It was one of my favorite meals from HelloFresh. Okay, I'm just gonna let these veggies cook through or heat up and I'll meet you back here with the mashed potatoes and we'll see. All right, our filling's ready. I've got my potatoes mashed. So I'm gonna take, I'm cooking mine in my pie plate. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it good. Move this. We're gonna put our filling in the bottom of it. potatoes mashed, mashed them right in my Instant Pot. And what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is try to put my mashed potatoes on it with a scoop. I think that will look pretty. And then we'll see how it does, okay? I did put a tiny bit of Parmesan cheese in my mashed potatoes. I just think it gives it a richness flavor so you can see that cheese pull a little bit there. Some good stuff. Man. Okay. All right. So now we're going to put it in the oven on broil for five minutes on low broil. So watch it closely. All we're going to do is try to brown the top of those potatoes and then it'll be done. And we've already got our rolls finished. I think this is going to be delicious. Our rolls. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that goodness. Look at that browning on those mashed potatoes. And I think that little bit of cheese is just gonna add something, something to it. I've had a great time talking to this wonderful group of ladies on this fall comfort food collab. So make sure you check out the playlist in my description box and also check out Christy's channel down in my description box. Thank you so much, Christy, for hosting this food collab, Fall Comfort Food Collab. And I hope you all make this shepherd's pie. It really is amazing. It gets a bad rap, but honestly, it has that secret ingredient in it, love. So everything that I make, I try to do it with a little bit of love to it, and it's always going to taste better. So I hope you all are doing great. I thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. 
I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. God bless you, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Guys, I had to get back on here and tell you. You know, my husband, Chad, typically does my taste test, and I will video them, but me and him both are sick. We tested negative for COVID, but I, I can't taste anything. So I let him taste it, and he said, this is amazing. He's already asked for seconds, so I just got him another plateful. I just wanted to let you know that Chad loved it. Mm -hmm.